In this video, I'll explain how to recognize left bundle branch block and right bundle branch block. This is the easiest guide and it will have a couple of points that you should remember. I would like to talk about the normal conduction before we start with the um, right bundle branch block or the left bundle branch block. Remember that the left bundle in normal patients is usually faster than the right bundle. So the initial electrical um, activity starts in the left bundle the right, um, instead of the right bundle. And since the left bundle depolarizes first, it will look towards the right bundle. And that will create an initial Q wave, an initial negative wave in V6, as you can see in here, an initial negative wave in V6. But after the right bundle depolarizes momentarily, all the other depolarization will happen towards the lateral side, towards the left bundle, because the left bundle is larger and is longer. So whenever electricity is going to go through the right, it's going to aim towards the left. And that will create a big R wave over here in V6. And that is basically how uh, you would remember um, the electrical activation in normal patients. What happens when you have a right bundle branch block? Basically, there is obstruction over here. And when this happens, electricity is still going to go through the left side more than the right. And the right side will be delayed. And that's why you will still have a Q wave in V6, just like normal patients. But what is very obvious to us is that if you look at V1, you will see this pattern, which is called the R S R prime, R S R prime. And that will be seen in V1. Now, if you want to look at the left bundle branch block, the block is on the left side. So instead of it going through the left bundle first, it's going to depolarize the right bundle first. And all electricity is going to go towards left side. There will be no initial negative deflection in V6 as we saw here because literally this side is not accepting electricity at the time where the right bundle branch depolarizes. It's all going to be right bundle and then you're going to depolarize the left bundle. So if you have studied for your USMLE exams, you've probably seen um, this what we call William Morrow. So W stands for a W in V1, M stands for M in V6, and the L in between will remember will remind you that this is a left bundle. Moro, you will see M in V1 and a W in V6 in right bundle. And this is just a mnemonic to remind you about those, but I do not recommend you use this because um, sometimes it does not look like that uh, for most of the times. And, um, um, and just to show you, for example, in this uh, example, the left bundle, um, it looks like an M over here in V6, but it's not the same as the M they're showing you in the mnemonic. So just be aware of that and this is how you diagnose left bundle branch block and a right bundle branch block but remember that the qrs duration in those blocks have to be more than 120 milliseconds